everybody, it's Kyle and Lily from Growing Up Garden. On today's episode, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of my front yard raised bed garden and show you some of my amazing plants that I have growing this year. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is my front yard raised bed garden. It is July 24th, and I'm gonna, this is the front of my house, so I've, this is the main area where I grow most of the food. And I also have a testing area over here where I test out five different soil mixes. Um, if you guys wanna check out that series, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can see what I have, what, I, what kind of soil mixes I'm using. Um, I've got sunflowers growing over here, tomatoes, uh, got crookneck squash, there's a zucchini, I got sweet banana peppers. Sunflowers are getting pretty big over here. They're, one of them's close to seven feet tall. Um, this raised bed that I have here is an actual, it's actually a movable raised bed. I'm able to drag this over onto the driveway if needed because I have a large toy hauler in the backyard. Um, behind the raised bed I have some artichoke plants that are just uh, starting to grow back again with new growth. Um, you can see last year's artichokes. I let two of them go to seed. Um, pretty cool. It's the first year I've done that. And then next to the artichoke I have a fig tree. Show you guys the figs, delicious figs. I get off of this every year. Um, last year we started this tree and it was about, I'd say, the size of my pinky. And it, the fig tree is grown in homemade compost, uh, rock dust minerals, and I've been using boogie brew and pure protein on it this year. So it's doing really good. It's actually got some more growth on it in the last week. Um, Got, starting to get more figs. Oh, got a little praying mantis here on the fig tree. It's one thing about when you when you have a garden, you get plenty of uh, cool insects. Won't mess with that guy. He's good. He's good for our garden. Um, over here, I've got another artichoke plant, and then I've got a volunteer uh, cantaloupe growing here, which is pretty cool. Got a Swiss chard plant that. I don't really use because it's not, it's not looking too hot. It's got some bug damage. So that's what I have growing on this side. I'll show you the back of this. Here, I'll show you guys the testing bed on the back side. So I'm going to head over to the other side of my yard and show you guys the main garden. Okay, I got my helper, Blake. Hi, Blake. All right. So this is the main growing area in my front yard. Um, let's see if you can see it. Show them the sugar cane. So in the front here, I have some sugar cane growing. Uh, we get this sugar cane uh, from the Davis Farmer's Market uh, every year. And uh, there was a couple pieces of the sugar cane that we didn't eat. So I ended up sprouting them in a bucket of water. I got some roots sprouted and I planted them in the ground last season and now they are shooting up uh, some nice sugar canes stalks. Come over here Blake, come on, follow me. So I also have, let's see what we got in the front here, got a volunteer tomato plant. I'm not sure what kind it is but it's pretty, pretty good tomato, pretty tasty. Um, right here in the front I've got basil growing. We use the basil to make uh, hummus, homemade hummus. It's so good. Got a sunflower. Over here, we have a cucumber right in the front. You can see that. Got. I only have one cucumber because I had some uh, insect problems where the bugs were eating all of my uh, cucumber starts, and that is the only one that survived. Um, so I've got a couple tomatoes that I threw in here. I had extra. Um, these are all potatoes. I had some potatoes that were kind of turning green and weren't, they were kind of getting funky, so I ended up planting those. Um, I've got uh, cantaloupes growing here on the trellis. 
There's about four of them in here. I'll show you guys. A little hard to see with the sun. Um, I also have some cantaloupes that are spilling over the raised bed. Hopefully you guys can see that. Come on over here, Blake. Let's show them our garden. So in this section, I have um, asparagus planted, and it's actually getting shaded out by the potatoes. I ended up putting potatoes here in this row. Um, originally, I was supposed to have some bush beans, I don't, but only one bush bean survived. Um, which, but this is actually a really good, uh, good green bean it makes. So. I ended up, uh, after all the bush beans didn't make it, I ended up throwing the potatoes in here too. Um, so along this fence, I've got tomato plants. Zucchini, yes. We have a lot of zucchini, Blake. So I've got a lot of tomatoes, got some beefsteak type, um, cherry uh, tomatoes in here. These are grape tomatoes right here. Um, I've got uh, Roma tomatoes. San Marzano tomatoes for making pasta sauce. Got Sun Sweet cherry tomatoes. And then this is a volunteer cherry here. Bikini. Okay, let's go back around and show them. We're gonna take you guys back around and show you what's growing on the, on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna head over here to one of the entry points to my raised bed garden. Um, this section right here has uh, zucchinis growing. I've got a lot of about four or five zucchinis. I've got a nice uh, volunteer tomato, another cherry tomato plant. Uh, buried in here is a, one of those patio tomato tomato plants. It's a determinate uh, variety that it only gets to a certain size. Um, I've got some eggplants buried in here. Um, just starting to get a nice. Uh, and a little eggplant, not very big yet, as you can see. Um, I've got some nice uh, tomatoes growing here. These are copia tomatoes. Let's see if you can see those. Got a real, they have a really pretty uh, stripe on them. Um, I've got these seeds from the Baker Creek uh, Heirloom Seed Company. You, can, you guys can check that out. There's a Seed bank is in Petaluma, and the, it's actually built inside an old bank, which is pretty cool. Okay, Blake, come on over here, Bubby. Go over here. And then this tomato here is, was a volunteer. I actually didn't plant this guy. And this thing gives a really nice uh, beefsteak uh, type tomato. Um, only problem is with these is that they, they like to crack on top. And what happened to me yesterday, I went to pick a few ripe ones and beetles got inside there and basically ate the insides pretty much out of them and then they started <coughs> and then they started rotting <coughs> so I'm gonna head over to where my peppers are now all right guys so in this section I have a lot of pepper plants growing on this side right here and I've got some here in the front so I'm gonna show you guys what it so this pepper here is the cabanelli pepper these are supposed to turn red. This one is just starting to get a nice, a little bit of a red hue to it. Uh, these are all sweet peppers that I'm growing in this section. I've got uh, Ozark Giant Bell Pepper here. Hi, Blake. So the Ozark Giant. Um, let's see, what else we have? We have the Ajbarski Ach Pepper. It's another sweet variety. And then all my peppers this year are completely loaded with peppers. Um, I've got tequila sunrise peppers. Just give a nice, uh, these are a nice orange looking pepper. It's completely loaded. Can you guys see that? Hopefully. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, more Cabane or, yeah, Cabanelli peppers. Here. So pretty soon I'll be having lots of peppers. Uh, I've got more eggplants. These are like, I think these are like some kind of a Japanese variety eggplant. A little slender. So, got about four or five of those guys in here. 
Ow. Whoop, stepped on a something. So this is my section with my banana peppers. I have three sweet banana peppers and then I have one hot. We like to use our banana peppers to make a tofu scramble type dish. I'll take onions, garlic, and the peppers and saute those in a pan. Then we'll add zucchini from the garden. And then I'll put my tofu in, crumbled up. And then to season it, I use salt and pepper and nutritional yeast. And then we'll put that mixture into a tortilla and make little breakfast burritos. And then we can we use maple syrup or ketchup to, to flavor them. And they're really delicious. You guys should try some. And then right here is my hot banana pepper plant. And I like to just throw one in a dish to give it a little spice. So I'm going to show you guys the next area. Okay, so on this section I have a bunch of different varieties of cherry tomatoes. This first one right here is a Super Sweet 100 and it is completely covered in cherry tomatoes, um, covered in flowers, and the kids absolutely love these things. Um, if you guys have kids, they definitely I recommend planting lots of cherry tomatoes because they love, love to come out and pick some. You want to pick one, Blake? You want to pick a ripe one? You gonna pick one of those for them? So I'm gonna show you guys what else I have. I have there's an ace tomato that I planted here, and it's getting kind of it's getting kind of shaded out. Uh, it's not doing too good. Um, I've got a sun gold cherry tomato, which my, this is my wife's favorite. And then next to that, I have this is an Isis candy uh, cherry tomato. And then I have these guys here. These are called blue cream berries. I also got these the Isis candy and the blue cream berries from the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. So you guys can go check that out if you want to grow these in your garden next year. And then that's the volunteer cherry tomato that I put in. And it's, and it's been given tons of cherries. You know, like a standard cherry tomato. So. Okay, so we're going to head over to the other raised bed section in my front yard. Alright, so this raised bed section I have lots of zucchinis planted. There's about five zucchini plants in here. And then right where Blake's standing in front I have about, it's about an eight foot tall early grilled tomato. It's completely covered in tomatoes this year. Um, on the trellis behind the tomato I have uh, Native American runner beans. Um, I planted these Native American runner beans last season from seed. I also got those from Baker Creek uh, Heirloom Seed Company. So what's cool about the Native American runner beans is uh, once you plant them from seed, they will come back every uh, season. The roots stay in the ground and they shoot up new uh, bean stalks. Which is pretty cool and they put out nice uh, red flowers that the bees just love what is it baby oh zucchini would you like to show everybody the zucchini show everybody let's see let's show them the zucchini we got a nice size zucchini in there you gonna get it for them here let's pull it out let's show everybody what we what we're growing here one of our nice zucchinis look at that show everybody show them the camera there you go that's a big one. Wow. Pretty good. You gonna eat that for dinner? Pokey. Pokey? Yeah, they're a little pokey. Zucchinis are pokies. You gotta be careful. Bye. Okay? Bye. <laughs> so, so the yeah, the runner beans are just starting to crawl up on my little archway that I made. Um, I made this archway out of reclaimed uh, redwood decking. Um, and I, I like using old wood because it gives you know it gives it a nice uh, look, it gives it some character you know when you have holes and cracks in it, and then you have these you know dark marks. Um, I use a wood planer to make it you know look like this. It gives it a cool wood, uh, planed effect. So it looks pretty nice, yeah. And all my raised beds uh, were free. I didn't buy any of them. I've got all the wood. Uh, from my neighbors for free. 
This, this raised bed, I'm using uh, pressure treated wood. This, this was in my neighbor's yard, used for a retaining wall. They were just gonna throw this away. <clears throat> and I put it to good use, I'm growing food with it. The same with um, my raised bed in the, in the front. This is all uh, reclaimed redwood decking. And it looks pretty nice, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have growing over here. All right, so against my house I have a trellis and I'm growing kagutsa squash and pinto beans. And we'll head over that way and I can show you guys a close-up of what those look like here. So here is, this is a kagutsa squash. It's Italian squash or gourd and this thing will be probably two to three feet long when it's mature might even be longer and then let's see if you can see up here I've got pinto beans uh, growing everywhere up in here and these are really good to uh, you can let these things dry and eat them as uh, dried beans you can make uh, refried beans out of them or you can uh, eat them as green beans and we've been eating them as green beans right now so and then um, below let's see here once all these plants uh, die out in the winter time I have um, artichokes growing down below and these will be growing throughout the winter and what's really cool about artichokes hopefully you guys can see that is they shoot out multiple plants from one root and what you can do is you can cut some of the root out with you can try to save the root and the plant and you can start another plant so you can make multiple plants from one uh, I started with two plants and now I have about ten which is pretty neat um, what else do I have oh I actually have some Malbar spinach uh, growing in here also it's good for salads here, let's show you guys the Malbar this is the red Malbar spinach and I don't even know if I planted these. I don't think I did. These are just volunteer. Some of the seeds must have rolled over here. So that's good for salads. So I'm going to show you guys where I make my compost. Okay, everybody. So this is where all the magic happens for the garden. This is where I make all of my compost in the section. You want to show them, Blake? So this is my small compost pile that I have right now. I haven't really been uh, keeping up on this. I've been pretty busy these days making YouTube videos for you guys and uh, working. So I don't have too much time to do, the, do this. But uh, So every uh, week we usually fill one or two of these five gallon buckets full of food scraps. And then I, you know there's some yard waste and, wait, and there's some green foliage for, from the garden. And uh, that all ends up in here. Um, I've just been burying it every week. Um, and I usually, you know, shovel it to one side or the other to, to aerate it. Um, this tomato plant is actually uh, growing up where my compost is. This is, these were some tomato, this was from last year's tomatoes that I threw in the compost pile and now it's a, I'd probably say about a seven to eight foot tall cherry tomato plant. I think there's actually a couple plants in there. So that's pretty cool. There's food growing everywhere. We, we didn't even have to plant it. The birds are, the birds are enjoying it too. Um, let's see, over here I've got, this was a uh, flower bed that we planted when my daughter Lily was born. And it's, it needs some, uh, needs some maintenance work. I'd like to uh, grow some food in here instead of flowers that I can't really do much with. But. One of these days we'll change that over. What else do we got over here? We have a tumbling composter, which um, I never use because it just doesn't work very good. Probably I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Or, or maybe I'll keep it and do some testing with it. I could test different composters and see which ones work better, so. That's pretty much it for the front yard. Um, I think we're gonna head to the backyard and I'm gonna show you guys what we have growing back there. Wanna go in the backyard, Blake? Let's go to the backyard. Come on, let's go. Heading to the backyard. All right, everybody, we are in my backyard and here is my apple tree. This is a five variety apple. 
Um, this season, this apple tree gave close to 100 apples, and they were all really sweet and delicious. Um, the apple tree is planted in a raised bed or a, a planter box that I made. Uh, this planter box is made from reclaimed wood also. Um, the fence boards, these boards right here, were actually my neighbor's fence right over there. And they were just going to throw those away. And I took those and turned them into a really nice box. And then the 2x6 boards that, that wrap around the three bands, um, those were actually in my other neighbor's trash can. And I pulled those out and, and uh, saved them from the landfill. So that's pretty cool. And it didn't cost me uh, anything to build. Um, so um, if you guys want to see what this apple tree looked like with apples on it, I'm going to post a video down in the link below. It's called Apple Pie Recipe from Homegrown Apples. That's where we make, uh, we show you guys how to make an apple pie. So definitely go and check that out. So I'm going to go show you guys the rest of the garden now. Okay, so we've got a huge uh, rose bush in our backyard that uh, I didn't plant that. That's my wife's uh, rose bush. Um, next to the rose bush, I was trying to grow uh, pinto beans. For the last uh, three or four years, I've been trying to grow beans along this fence, and uh, I haven't had much luck growing in this uh, the ground here. Um, I put compost in, but I don't think it's just I don't think it's a deep enough. Um, so I think next year I'm going to be uh, building a little raised bed here along the fence um, and really enriching this area so that next year I want this to be a wall of green basically and then I want it to extend up past the fence so my whole yard would be a nice green wall that grows food. That's the goal. Okay, hold on. I'll help you. So I'm going to show you guys our herb bed. Hey Lily. <laughs> okay, so this is the final area where I grow things in my yard. I've got, this is my herb bed, it's right next to my hot tub. Um, I've got mint growing, I've got some dill, and I planted some basil, which is uh, bolting right now. I've got uh, sweet marjoram. And then right next to that, I have some stevia, which is cool. It's really sweet uh, leaves, kind of tastes like sugar. And then what else do I have? I've got sage growing. I, I like to use the sage for uh, gravy. We have Thanksgiving, make some really nice uh, plant-based gravies. And this stuff, mm, it smells really good. And then next to that, I have some thyme. Um, I also put thyme in my hummus. It's so good. I recommend getting some thyme, using that on your food for flavor. Okay, more swing. So that is the end of our garden tour. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Please share these videos and subscribe.